Folks, welcome back to Jerome Bee Farm and Homestead. So it's uh, January 17th, and uh, it's about 53 degrees out. It's a nice day today. It's sunny, and uh, we got about a 12 mile an hour wind out of the northwest. So uh, it'd be perfect if it wasn't for that wind. So I noticed today we've got a lot of bees uh, flying and uh, going out. They're foraging a little bit. They're getting some water, and I had some. Uh, pollen substitute left over that I had sitting out last year. One of them had a, in the feeder had a bird nest in it and I pulled that bird nest out of there and I guess that stirred that uh, pollen up and the bee smelled it. So they were getting on that. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let them finish that up because so, it's not that much in there. But uh, bees are out flying. So what I'm gonna do today is uh, I'm just gonna walk around and uh, I'm gonna check each hive entrance and see what the bees look like, see if we got activity. And if there's a hive that doesn't have any activity, I'll make a note of that and uh, we'll get in there and check it out, uh, possibly today, I don't know. But, uh, and then later on, uh, not this video, but later on this week or next week, I'll uh, grab each hive and I'll start lifting the back side and feeling their weight and seeing how much weight they've got. So those lightweight hives, We'll put some sugar cakes on the top and uh, get them through uh, through winter into the spring. So uh, it's a little early for that. They should be fine. And uh, I did some uh, hive top feeding with liquid feed for the hives that were low on feed going into winter and got them nice and heavy. So they should be doing okay. But uh, let's get around and we'll check them out and see what they look like. And uh, hopefully. We're 100% on the highs we got left. I think I'm at uh, 24, 26, something like that. I try to keep 30, but uh, didn't have such good luck last year getting my numbers built up. So uh, with the queens uh, not mating for me. So uh, let's get out here and let's check it out. Some of you may have noticed uh, I got this electric net around my uh, apiary here. And I just put this solar uh, panel on it with a charger. I've got the uh, solar controller right there in that little box and there's the battery. So that just keeps the battery up. I had been, uh, I just swap batteries out and recharge it. And uh, So I thought I'd add this to it this year. Uh, pretty slick. Uh, I think it was 44 bucks for the panel and the solar controller. And they give you a few wires to hook up in the little battery clips. Uh, to clip onto the battery pretty neat i'll put a link down below to that if you want to check it out i thought that was a pretty good price to add uh, solar to your energizer so the reason i have this net up is because of skunks and skunks will wipe out a hive they will get on a hive and they'll scratch the entrance and bees will come out and they'll chew up the bees and they'll keep all those bees in their mouth till it's a big uh, ball I guess they get all the juice out and all the protein and fat and uh, then they spit it out and it'll leave a, a plug on the ground. It looks like chewing tobacco, but if you look close, it'll all be bees. So uh, I got this fence to protect the hives from that. And a lot of folks say, well, why don't you just raise your hives up? Well, as you can see, they're pretty high already. And uh, if I raise that up much more, uh, I'm six foot two and... When I have two supers on these highs, it's it's up high, and uh, it's it's difficult to get in there and check on things when they're that high. So 
I just opted for this fence. It's easy to put up, easy to take down, and uh, works good for me. Let's get on over here to hive number one, and we'll start uh, making our notes. Okay, I kind of number my hives weird. I start number one back here in the back because that's where my first hive was at. And uh, we'll check them out. So number one looks good. It's got activity going. I saw one go in there. There we go. Hive two. Yeah, it's good. Hive three. Looks good. It looks really good. Hive four is vacant. That's one that uh, didn't requeen. Hive five is good. Six is good. Seven. Seven, 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 seven. What shows that from? <laughs> yeah, that's good. I seen one go in there. Uh, eight. Yep. Nine. Yep. Ten's good. Eleven is good. Eleven is a uh, that small hive. Twelve is good. Thirteen and fourteen. I trouble those all. Fourteen especially all last summer, trying to get it going. Never did. Fifteen. Is looking good so 16 is back over here Sixteen's good 17 it's good 18 and 19 are gone so let's get on down here 20 is down here Yeah, 20 strong. Twenty-one. Good. Twenty-two's gone. Twenty-three. It's good. Twenty-four is gone. Twenty-five. Good. Twenty-six. Yep. Twenty-seven. That's a huge swarm. Twenty-eight is good. I think that's it. Yeah. We had our nukes down there and I uh, sold two of them. The rest of them didn't make it. Failed to queen. All right, we've got uh, 29 and 30 back over here behind the barn. Walk down there real quick. Got the fire going. Going to uh, work on some trees from the ice storm here in a little bit. Uh, back over the hill, back in there, uh, I've got a huge tree laying over my neighbor's uh, barbed bar fence, so I need to get that off his fence. And there's, I don't even know if I can get to it. <laughs> We're just going to have to see if we can get it out of there. So 29's gone, or 30's gone. I don't remember which is which, <laughs> but these are 29 and 30. Actually, I think 29 is the one on the far side, this one here. It's looking nice and strong. Yeah. And this one here didn't make it. Yeah, so that is it. 100%. Uh, a couple of them looked like there were not a lot going on, but there were some bees out there. This is a good thing. Uh, like I said, we'll get out there and we'll check their weight. And uh, what I do is I grab the back of the hive. It feels like you ought to be lifting, oh, for a double deep, I'd say you need to be lifting like, oh, 30, 40 pounds of weight, you know? So that would mean it's really around 80 pounds total because you're only lifting half of it, right? So uh, going into the winter, things are looking good. Uh, next year, I'm planning on in the spring, and uh, I'm going to put my orders in here in January. I think the 21st they said they open them up. Uh, Wildflower Meadows is going to open up their pre-ordering 
for their uh, queens, their VS VSH Italians. Uh, so that's a Varroa resistant supposedly breed. Uh, I've gotten three queens from them in the past uh, and I've had good luck with them. I really like them. And uh, they're a darker, a darker bee than the, uh, the ones I have here. And most of the ones I have here are from local beekeepers and native, native to Oklahoma. So uh, I don't have many bees in here from out of state except those wildflower meadows. And that's from uh, California is where they came from. And uh, they've done good. I've raised, uh, let's see, I know of at least four uh, princess daughters from that one of those queens. And they're on their, the generation after that last year. So we're probably getting in, into the fourth generation uh, from her. So uh, uh, I really like those genetics. They seem to be doing well. And man, last year uh, was an awesome honey crop. So if y'all saw that, it was great. Really thankful for that. I still got honey. I was like, man, I don't know if I'm going to sell it all. So I started uh, having a, a sale. If you buy three, you get one free. So yeah, if you want any of my honey, get a hold of me and I'll, I'll, uh, I can ship it. Uh, so I ship it U.S. Postal in those flat rate boxes so I can get two in a small box and that's like eight bucks to ship that or something like that. But uh, anyway, I'm going to quit blabbering on and I hope you enjoyed the video. So not much going on in January. This is about it. So uh, we'll catch you probably next month. Y'all take care. Thank you.